How to use Animaker Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how to use Animaker Animaker is arguably one of the best whiteboard or animation platforms around as you don't need to download any software or anything like that all you'll need to do is go onto Animaker.com and you can get started for completely free while they do offer paid plans with more features you can use their free plan to get started all you'll need to do is go on to animaker.com and you'll sign up using your email address once you have signed up you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this and from here you'll see numerous templates you can choose from as you can see right here all templates or if you would like to do cartoon or 2d videos you can do that if you would like to create ads or promo all you have to do is tap on ads or promo and from there you'll see templates that you can use as you can see right here or if you would like to do an explainer video you could tap on explainer right here and you can see the numerous templates that you can use right here all you'll have to do is tap on use for this example I'll be creating a blank one so I'll start from blank then I'll tap on horizontal video after you have done that you will be redirected to a new dashboard on which you can start creating your animation video once on the dashboard we are going to scroll down and right where you see create project we are going to tap on horizontal video if you would like to create a vertical video or a square video you can select that and also if you are creating videos for social media for example for instagram or facebook you can also select that but for this example I'll be creating an horizontal video so I selected horizontal once you have done that you'll be redirected to this dashboard and we can start creating our first animated video now to do that all you will need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you can see the character that you had created you can tap on the character to add him right here as you can see then I'll pull him into the position that I want on the screen right here so I'll pull him to the left right then you so I'll pull him to the left then you can choose the action that you'd like him to do so for example I'm doing a tutorial so I like him to stand and talk so I'll tap on this action right here and you can scroll down and you can see numerous actions that you can choose from or you can tap on expressions and you can type it you can tap on expressions and you can choose the type of expression that you would like he you can tap on expression and you can choose the type of expression that you would like your character to have once you have done that and you have chosen how you would like him to move all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option and you can choose other characters if you want to be in your video so for example let's say i want to use this lady also in the video so i'll tap on the lady right here then i can move her to the right hand corner right here then i can choose working in a pc and you can see how it looks at the moment you can see it right there and then I'll go over to the left hand menu option again and if I would like to add a text I can tap right where you see text so let's say I want to add an heading I'll tap on add heading then I'm going to move the text to the top right hand corner and I'm going to type in simple answers right here so let me do that real quick once you have done that you can also change the font style or so on if you would like and you can also add animation to the text right at the top menu option where you see animation so if you would like the text to pop or zoom in you can do that as you can see right here and also by going over to the left hand menu option again from there you can tap on image and you'll see numerous images you can use if you would like to add them to your video but keep in mind that most of the images you would have to pay for them as you can see here one dollars per use and also you have access to videos while these videos are copyright free 
again you will have to pay for her use of the video as you can see right here and it is the same with the music as you can see you have access to copyright free music but you'll have to pay as you can see right here three dollars per use and you also have access to effects so if you would like to use effects you can do that by simply tapping on the effect that you would like to use as you can see right there and by tapping on more you can see the different apps that are integrated into animaker so now that we have done that all we'll need to do now if you would like to add a voiceover or so on all you'll need to do is tap right where you see add voiceover and you could record a voiceover right there or you could go down to the bottom left hand corner and you could tap on uploads and you could upload audio if you want so this is the first scene right here to add a second scene all i would have to do is go over to the top right hand corner and tap on the plus right below the first scene and now i'll be able to create the second scene so for the second scene again i could add the character right there or if i would like to use one of these templates i could tap on the templates right there so let's say for example i want to use this template i can tap on it then you can see the different sections right here so let's say i only want to use this particular section all I would have to do is tap on the section right there and you can see that it has been added so this will be scene 2 and from here you'll be able to edit each section so if you would like to change the text all you would have to do is tap on the text box and you'll be able to edit the text box if you would like to change the character action all you have to do is tap on the character and from there you can choose the action from the left hand menu option or you can tap on action plus as you can see right here after tapping on action plus you will see the different options right there or you can tap on the plus from here and you'll be able to add a second action after you have done all of that and it is to your liking and you have made more than one scene you can preview it by tapping on play in the top right hand corner so let me preview it so you can see how it looks as you can see right here this is how it looks at the moment so you can see that is the first scene and then it goes into the second scene as you can see right here and if you would like to change the length of the video you can do that all you would have to do is tap on the particular scene that you would like to edit so let's say for example scene one I'll select scene one then in the bottom right hand corner you will see the option time and from there you can tap on the plus and or minus if you would like to decrease the length of the scene so you can see right there i have now decreased the length to three seconds and i will decrease the length of scene two to three seconds also so you can see right there once it is finished i'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner then you can select download video after you have done that from there you can add a video name if you want you can also select the download options whether you would like to do it 720p or if you want to upgrade and go to 1080p once you are finished you are going to tap on download right here and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe